From the past, we turn to the present and the future. Lisa Barrow handles that part, and she's here now with this week's Motor News. Lisa? Thanks, John. The auto show season has begun, and we have a couple of cars from the recent show in Los Angeles. The Japanese have a history of naming their show cars with awkward acronyms. Nissan's newest is no exception. It's called the Arc X. Like most current show cars, the Arc X has all the stuff you'd expect. Four-wheel steering, four-wheel drive, anti-lock brakes, and on and on. With all these things as show car standards now, Nissan had to come up with new things to control with electronics. Inside, there's room for four, and the seats have position memory that changes every one of the seat's adjustments, not just the distance and rake. There's also an onboard navigation system. It's made to work with roadside beacons. The 6-inch CRT also displays maps and offers guidance to specific destinations. Other electronic goodies include a voice-recognizing telephone and a crash warning system. Here's the more practical of Nissan's new show cars, the Jura minivan. The Jura also has, you guessed it, four-wheel drive and four-wheel steering. More interesting is a railless electric sliding side door and a curved glass tailgate. We'll have more of this year's show cars in the weeks to come. Last week we reported on the new Peugeot sedan that will come to the U.S. this spring, the 405, and it continues to make news. Peugeot had entered this special 405 Turbo 16 in last month's Perry Dakar rally. It led much of the event until it was stolen in Bomeco, Mali and held for ransom. The car was recovered and resumed the race some two and a half hours after the other competitors had left. The 405 caught up with the competition only to be disqualified for not leaving on time. The victory went to an older Peugeot 205 rally car. The 405 Turbo 16 will come to the U.S. this summer for the Pikes Peak Hill Climb. John?